Hello and welcome to the 14th part of my look back at Resident Evil 2. I can't remember which Resident Evil it was, I think it was Code Veronica, there was a thing um, where if you, I think you couldn't save at all, I could be wrong, I think it was that one, and you couldn't get poisoned in something to unlock the rocket launcher, and it took me forever to do, but oh, I did do it. Oh, I forgot the key. But the funny thing is, I've got the, I got the um, rocket launcher. Never really used it. I used it about once, and that was it. So really, in theory, it wasn't worth doing. Well, it was a nice challenge, but yeah. I think it was like one of the. I think it was one of the bosses. You had like a, you had like you had to shoot him in the heart to stop him, and he spat poison. And I think that's where I kept failing so many times. I think it was on the end of the Antarctica bit. Just before you got to be Chris. Oh, where's that key then? Don't say it's in one of those rooms I've just run past because I'm not going back after more zombies. Oh no, I think it actually might. Let's go and have another look. I think it actually might be in the um, vehicle. God, I do not fancy going back tracking to find those zombies again. Ah, oh, no, what's this? Oh, more flame rounds, yay. Actually, no, I'm grateful for them. Ah, there's the key. Right. Yes, again. Oh, no, actually. Oh, no, it only takes 13, doesn't it? Um, right, let's combine the two. I'll probably use them anyway, so... Yes, I will take the control panel key. and I'm going to hopefully not regret it. of uh, Sherry's dad. Claire, my stomach. From what I understand of the G-Bars, I think, I think it's in the Resident Evil Degeneration film. It's stated. I might be wrong. Hang I've, I've heard, there, I remember Sherry. reading it somewhere or up. hearing it somewhere. But, um, the, the more pupate. wounded you get, the more you mutate. And I think it keeps happening to a cat. Uh, basically, there's nothing left to... Uh, Repair. Yes, you're going to lock me out. Typical horror. You're going to lock me out. What I have to fight some nasty-looking beast. And I don't think this is the one where he's like a dog. I think this is the one with two arms. Oh, it's not. Oh no, he's going to mutate again. He hasn't been wounded, so that fairy coin doesn't work. Oh my god. I wish they would put some dodging Resident Evil 2. I'm very lucky to turn from Resident Evil. Oh, he caught me. Oh, he backhanded me, no. He never did. Oh, right, check health. Oh, not not too bad. I'd, I'd wait till we get to red caution. Ah! 
Right, I think now's a good time, yeah. Get a cheeky shot now. And he's backing off. Yep, he's down for the count. That wasn't too bad, actually. That wasn't too bad. So, I, well, I did quite well, I felt there. I mean, I could have dodged him a bit more, but... My, my strategy was to hit him as much as I could, as quickly as possible. Sherry. It didn't have the dodge, like I said, in Resident Evil 3. That was really handy, but I wasn't very good at doing it. Because you had to press the buttons very quickly, and oh, it just wasn't for me. Nice feature, though. Sure, Leon does show up soon. Seems weird we haven't seen him for a long time. Now, if I remember correctly, there might be a cutscene here, I think. Yes, I find this funny because um, I've changed Claire's costume. Oh, She's now wearing away. Jerry's wearing her jacket. Isn't Obviously, they've got a different costume. That's it shouldn't okay. really work. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. <laughs> Sherry. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. Everything. I think there's not too. I mean, there are obviously going to be more zombies, but they're very few, I think. Hopefully, so. Yeah, flame rains. I think we're going to need these in a minute anyway. 39, that's not. I think that's 39 or 30. It's very blurry. price you pay for HD graphics. Not that I'm saying they're a bad thing, what I'm saying is you've got so, well I've got so used to them that when things are blurry you're like, oh, whoa did that used to look like that? Even though the, the graphics aren't, obviously back in the day they were, you know, brilliant, but now it's sort of like, you know, people are saying, oh that looks crap, where, yeah it looks crap but it's still a bloody good game, in theory, so. Yeah, it does bring up the discussion of our graphics that, you know, do they make it make the game better? I mean, well, obviously they do, but I mean, oh, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Basically, uh, graphics, if the graphics, as long as you can see the game, does it have to have amazing graphics to make it a good game? My answer would be no, as long as the game's really enjoyable. You know, graphics don't have to be everything. As long as, as, I, well, no, as long as you can see it. Oh no, I think Leon, you don't see till the end of the game now. Right. Yeah, I remember this bit in, because there's uh, the first Resident Evil Outbreak. You come to this part. And uh, there's a load of hunters running around. Luckily, they're not in this game. I don't like hunters. I don't like anything. Well, no, I don't know. I don't think anybody really likes any of the creatures. Right, everything's going to be knocked down, I think. I think you can get into the frozen room now. Yep. Shouldn't be too much more to go now, hopefully. Well, I mean, I'm enjoying it, but... The right, that's the fuse case to get the power back. Now, what's this for? 
So the fuse case, yeah. I think this makes the fuse. Hopefully, so we can get everything on. Well, every, all the power is up and running. Main fuse, yep. Oops, I'm gonna get the power back on. And we're going to meet something, another one of the creatures I don't like. I think they're called Ivy's. They're basically a mutated plant. But I just find them rather creepy. game used to feel really really long and maybe because back then I didn't used to play it all in one go well I haven't like, played it a few hours over a couple of days and a few hours here and there and uh, I think really I used to limit my time because back then I didn't have sort of my own you know I couldn't have in those days you know it was I couldn't afford my own game so you know I used to make them last longer yeah I think if you have the lighter you can get rid of that and there's a secret room. I might look into that actually. If I get time. Don't get too close because I don't want to get hit at. Oops, this. I just skipped that memo, didn't I? I do apologise. It was just basically explaining um Basically, it has a feature. There's a secret room that you need to both carry, like because it, it, this scenario falls onto might be Leon's second one. Um, you have if you put a user registrate, it tells you how to register your fingerprint. You put a fingerprint in, and Leon puts his in. When you get to this part in his scenario, there's a secret room that might actually have a machine gun in. I think, and if it does, I'm going to be a little bit gay because I should have picked it up. But never mind. I will try and open it for him if I have enough health and time. Oh, sorry. I'm... All right, let's read this one. These uh, memos when we're trying to read them, I have been like just trying to go slow so everybody gets the chance to read them. If anybody wondered, oh, bowgun bolts. I haven't seen them in a long time. That is, that is bizarre. That there's not, there's like hardly any bowgun ammo. Well, I kind of used it up so quickly on uh, my mistakes that I kind of forgot. Oh, it's locked from inside now. Let's get the flame rounds because I know they are coming. I think it's in this one. Oh, I don't want to push it. Oh, no. We'll back off a little bit. Another annoying example of why the camera is so annoying. Yeah, it's not locking. I think they're down. I love the flame rounds. Now, mm, I think you just go to get the vaccine for like Sherry. Oh, great. More herbs, and we'll pick them up because we're going to be needing them in a minute. 
where it's going though, I may have to use a first aid sprayer. Hope not. I really do. Because I think you still get a decent grade. Probably about a B. Right. I think there are liquors in this part now again. I think if there are, this is the last lot. Yep, there's one waiting. I can see his claw. What's blood? Is it? Yeah, it's blood. Oh my days, that made me jump. I honestly don't know what the difference between the black ones and the red ones are. I don't think they're any more powerful, I just think it's a different colour. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, there's two of them! What are we looking on health? Oof. Don't let me, you dirty swine. That's him out, of, that's another one out of the way. I forgot there was um, different colour ones. It's the same as the Hunters in Resident Evil 1 are green and they are black and red in 3. But I think that's due to their different... They've... Um, where they're produced. Because there are lots of different Hunters. I think the ones in Outbreak are very much different to the ones in 1 and 3 and Code Veronica because there's a special, oh the one in Code Veronica there's a purple one, I think it's a special poison one and they were deadly enough as it is the amount of times I've had to restart on Resident Evil 1 because of them well, I say restart, reload do I put the grenade? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need it. I say that, and I know I'm going to need it. Put the bogan bolts, put the herbs away. I'll keep on to that little one. Little. Just keep on to that one. Probably put the handgun back on. I'll equip it. Is there anything we need in here? Actually, if I still got... Yeah, yeah, no, I might need it actually in a minute. Judging by the amount of bullets I have. I do think you get a weapon in a minute called the spark shot. I think it's, it just fires electricity. I think you might meet Shira's mum here again. That might be a bit later on. Also... If we can access it, I don't know if I think we need the umbrella lab card. If we can, um, come into, yeah, I thought it was. And there's a giant moth, if I'm correct. Right. This, I believe, is where we make the first part of the vaccine. And I, uh, Ah, there's this weapon, I think. What's this? I could open it, but I had a key. So where's the key? Because I know that's where you... I think it's the magnum parts for Leon's magnum. Oh, great. You guys are back. joke is that's not the last one. Hopefully I can do what I need to before he gets to me. Right, there's the lab card key. Um, so where's the vaccine base? Oh my god. I don't think I can get past these two. Oh, well done. 
Is that a third over there? Oh my god, how many more do we need? I think it's in here actually. I'm pretty sure it's got it, unless I know there's a room upstairs. Maybe I have to go up there and get it. I hate to waste ammo, but I don't think they're gonna, I'm going to get past otherwise. Alright, oh, thief. Uh, 